Hello and welcome to Master Jacko. In this video, I'm going to go in through some key information for GCSEs this summer in 2023 and those exam dates that you really need to know and prepare for. Because of COVID-19 last year, you were given advanced information for the exams because of the amount of work students missed out on. And that was in summer 2022. However, in 2023, it's going to be a little bit different. Here is an example from what OCR gave last year. Because students missed so much education through COVID-19 after stay at home, they were given advanced information. So you can see already, this is for the summer exams and not for November 2022, which is where the recess would have happened that have just gone. And all it was, was instead of expecting students to be able to have a go at every single topic, they gave you a selection of topics that their exam will be focusing on to make it a little bit easier for the previous year 11s. However, this is not going to be in 2023. This is just what happened last summer. However, you are in luck. You are going to be given a formula sheet, which is what they gave last year. And they're also going to give it you again in 2023. And it looks like this. So this is Edectel's formula sheet. This is from last summer in May and June. It's probably not going to change. It never usually does. They actually had a formula sheet when I did my GCSEs in 2007 and then they took it away a few years ago and now it's like they're bringing it back because of COVID. Whether it stays in 2024 and 2025, we don't know, but you've got it in 2023. So this is for higher tier compared to foundation. All it'll be, it'll have a couple of things extra compared to the foundation exam that you're not going to need. So why to put it on there? So you've got things, perimeter, area and volume quadratic formula here so you don't need to remember that you can help we'll buy this formula sheet and use this pythagoras trigonometry usual stuff here so do check it out in the exam use it as a bit of a guide but really you need to try and try remember as much as you can yourself so exam dates when are these exams i did put in my community chat However, I'll get them on the screen for you now so you can take a look. There you have it. There are the dates for your GCSE exams in 2023. So as you can see, Friday the 19th of May is the first one. And that's Edexcel, OCR and AQL on the same day. Then what usually happens, you have half term. And it's a week off. That's why the next one is on the 6th of June. However, that is calculator. And it's just Edexcel and AQA this one. Whereas the last one was non-calculator and included OCR and on the 7th of June is OCR second paper I'm not sure if they always do that because typically I personally haven't used OCR in my schools before I've just done Edexcel and AQA so they normally always fall on the same day maybe OCR always do this doesn't really matter it's still the same qualification anyway but also different papers so students can't cheat and tell each other what the answers are and then on Wednesday the 14th of June is a third paper that is also calculator and that is Edexcel, OCR and AQA Students ask, is there a difference between paper one, two, and three? I always get this question at parents' evenings, and the answer is no. There is no difference. Apart from paper one being non-calculator, paper two and three being calculated papers, there is no difference. It's not like paper one is all your number work, paper two is algebra, paper three is your shape. There's no difference. We can assume certain topics. So on a calculated paper, you're not likely going to be asked as a straight up question, what is 24 multiplied by 52? Because you'll just go, well, I'll be using my calculator, job done. That will be on a non-calculator. What you tend to find is during exam season, let's say you've done your first maths exam and you've had certain topics have already come up. OK, paper two and paper three, people start bringing out predicted papers. So what they'll say is right on paper one, we've already had straight line graphs and pie charts come up. So the likelihood of that coming up again on paper two or three is unlikely. And that is kind of the only way, really, you can assess on what might come up on the test. And then when you have paper two, you might be thinking, right, Pythagoras, trigonometry, area of a trapezium, area of a cylinder haven't appeared yet. I haven't had to use that skill. So it's likely that will come up on paper three. But yet again, these are all free as well. So if you have a little Google at the time and click around, you can find people's thoughts. But obviously, these are just guesswork and assumptions. So do tread carefully. So you have done all of your exams. When do you get your results? So results day is always in August. And in 2023, it will be on Thursday, the 24th of August. 
If you like the video, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, and check out this video up here. Take care, and I'll see you next time.